Hey you guys, it's me again, the Metaverse Explorer. Welcome to Grape Solana Alpha. This is a uh, rather smaller episode, maybe a medium episode actually. We're gonna be talking about a few topics and I'll let you know right now. Before we go ahead, I'm gonna tell you there is a timeline all the way down below. So you select the topics that you are very interested in. Apart from that, uh, please go ahead and just do that for me uh, so you can continue to receive uh, Grape Solana Alpha. Today's topics are, we're gonna have a look at the TVL that we have been flirting with the all time high in Solana at the moment. And then we're going to talk about Atrix and uh, Almond as well and how they are managing to defy the odds and becoming uh, just having really larger TVL which is really weird. We're going to have today's tutorial is Jupiter Aggregator and then we're also going to have a look at the de-raffle mainnets. They are like a raffling uh, kind of pull together uh, kind of uh, uh, decentralized lottery system. And then we'll have a look at uh, some of Marinade uh, has reached a milestone where they have upped their Marinade rewards. We're going to have a look at uh, Sino Global Capital and why they have invested into Jet Protocol. Mango has started uh, the um, their new interface for DAO voting and it looks pretty slick guys. The Mango voting is so much easier now. Next up, Step is also going to be uh, introducing Step staking. So now we have X Step, which is uh, accrues rewards according to how much the protocol is used. And then last off with, we'll uh, cover the Radium X Magic Eden uh, partnership where most NFTs will now, you can purchase them on Radium. You wouldn't have to go to Magic Eden. If you're going to do a launch on Magic Eden, it'll automatically be used on Radium. That's crazy, right? And then we're going to end the day with NFT volumes and uh, upcoming NFT releases. All right. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Let's do it. All right, so looking at the Solana ecosystem at the moment, our TVL is 11.73. Notice guys that we were just flirting with all time high TVL. All time high was 12.2 and we actually hit 12.2, 12.02 right there. But now we've traced back a little bit more like a rejection of the all time high. Our Sabre dominance is still 17.7. Now it has decreased a lot. I wonder why, because we have some new farms going around in Solana ecosystem, which is the Atrix and Almond farms. They are giving insane APYs for lots of different uh, coins and we'll show you right here which ones are the best at the moment. Okay, um, and there hasn't been much else going on at the moment. Uh, Jet is uh, inc slowly increasing their TVL as you can see 672 and nothing else has really started uh, going. <laughs> Today's tutorial is Jupiter Aggregator. They are a new aggregator on Solana. What does that do? It gives you the best routing option for any coins you want to find. They just went on mainnet at the moment and uh, they actually support Serum, Radium and Mercurial at the moment. They plan to support Orca, Saver and Step Finance. So if you have one token that you want to find the best price in Solana for, they're going to give you the best price. See, for example, they give you one here. You're going to swap USDC to Serum and you're going to save $19 in this uh, transaction. Think of it as uh, one inch. So what are they going to be doing? Uh, the integrations are going to be focused on best rates discovery, uh, best in class user experience, and also trying to give you a fun APY so that uh, it takes the pain and issues out of swaps. And also dark mode. Everyone loves dark mode. Let's have a look at their actual application. This is it on mainnet at the moment. It looks very much like Mercurial. As you can see, it's aggregated with Radium, Serum, and Mercurial. You can swap $1,000 to Sunny. No problem. You can swap any token to any token that's currently available on radium and mercurial and afterwards um, once uh, orca and all the other protocols are integrated it should be much easier now at the bottom here i want to highlight it says mercurial labs and i did confirm these guys are from the same team as mercurial so this is interesting uh, this is very interesting this is uh, and they they have hints of a token coming up later they don't we don't actually know how to earn this token at the moment but uh probably uh, they might have a retroactive rare drop for protocol usage so go out there and use those uh protocols that don't have tokens yet all right, the next protocol we're going to cover today is Draffle or DRAFFLE. So these guys are a kind of a lottery system where you can have your tokens and you go in into prizes to win NFTs or to win other uh, things in Solana ecosystem. They did have one raffle that has uh, just finished now. They were sold 65 tickets and it was a community token, which was 0.5 DCT. So you could have won a Cyber Pharmacist, a Lunarian or a Grey Stinger. And we have the winners here and you can go and check their wallets to have these inside. Um, 
Um, apart from that, they have their DCT staking where you can stake their DCT. It's a uh, 15% uh, per day accrue. And one thing I really want to highlight with these guys is they've made uh, a tool which is a lot easier to use than some of the other tools out there. So this is the closing account tools. So did you know that in Solana, every new token you interact with, every new account you interact with, you have to pay 0.002 SOL. And uh, this has to be paid to keep your account open. So if you look at uh, your Phantom Wallet or any other um, wallet out there, you'll see lots of zeros and uh, lots of all these different accounts with 0, 0, 0, 0, nothing in there so those accounts are being kept open now you need a tool to close those accounts and reclaim all that Solana back so this is one such tool I think uh, there's a few others out there but this makes it a lot easier you can close all of your uh, empty accounts in one click and you reclaim all that soul back um, it's a really handy tool I've used it it does work so um, feel free to use it as well or share down below which other tools you think there are now here's some alpha for you marinade just tweeted four hours ago this week 1% of the total marinade will be distributed to the community which includes an extra 10 million for reaching a milestone what does this actually look like on the marinade section you can see that the TV uh, the um, uh, APR has actually increased drastically for MSOL it used to sit around 6% now it's 35.7% that's a crazy increase in rewards. Now, this leads me into the next topic, which is Atrix and Almond. So remember, Atrix and Almond are kind of stealth guys, no team, we don't really know them, but they are coming out with some really incredible pools. So for example, you can provide your MSOL, which you can provide on Marinade, MSOL to Sol, MSOL to Sol on Atrix, uh, and you can deposit your LP tokens here. Instead of earning 45% on uh, APR on uh, Marinade, you can deposit it here and you can go and farm. Let's go and find out. MSOL and Sol. MSOL and Sol. 78% APY. And 78% APY, it's paid in FTT's token. It's paid in FTX's token. That's crazy. Instead of earning uh, Marinade, you could earn FTT. So think about how that works. Other people can come and provide their token and then you'll be able to use other tokens to farm their token. Now DeFi and Solana is getting crazy, guys. It's getting so crazy. Uh, we'll have a look at the actual APYs. I'm gonna log out here so you can see. So the APYs for MSOL and USDC is more than 5,000% APY and it's paying in Marinade. If you want to farm Marinade, this is the place for you to go right now. MSOL and USDT is more than 5,000% APY on Marinade. And then you have the Almond Pools, which are being farmed at the moment here. Uh, still don't know much about Almond. People aren't really sharing information. They are affiliated with Atrix, but it's unknown at the moment. Uh, and they also give you BTC for farming sale and G-Sale, farming Sol with Lick and USDC. Does, do you get the idea of what's happening here? Uh, you can uh, uh, incentivize a pool using any other token. Um, we don't know if it's been audited, so play around and be safe, guys. Use a ledger and uh, only prepare to um, use funds you are willing to lose because we don't know who these guys are and they haven't come out and told us. Sino Global Capital, a uh, major player in the VC investor space, in, especially in Solana. Uh, about one day ago, they did release their article titled uh, Why We Invested in Jet Protocol, and it's not financial advice. We had a look at the actual article. I gave it a good read about the whole thing. Um, it's not that long, to be honest, but they did give some really good reasons about why they invested in Jet. And I'll tell you some of the key things that I thought um, were interesting. So the first thing they do talk Talk about some of the features that are coming up. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is um, the um, uh, users who wish can give approval for the protocol to manage and automatically rebalance their leverage positions, similar to DeFi Saver in MakerDAO vaults. The second thing that caught my eye was that um, interest uh, bearing tokens. So when a user deposits an asset into a pool, they are returned a token representing their base deposit and tokens representing their interest earned. From there, the user can trade their deposited tokens and and um, all around Serum's uh, central limit order book, similar to MSOL that we see right now from Marinade. So interest bearing tokens are coming to Solano, guys. It, uh, it might not be Jet that might be first to market. We'll see who else comes out. The entire document is a good read and it provides some other reasons as to why they invested in Jet Protocol. I myself am bullish on Jet, but remember this is not financial advice. You do your own research and you, make, you come to your own conclusions. That being said, I'm gonna leave the link of this uh, document down below for you to read as well. All right, we'll go on.
Mango markets have now uh, implemented their next UX for um, the DAO voting. It makes it much easier for anyone like a pleb my, like myself to actually go ahead and vote in Mango DAO. So we have a look on the left hand side here. These are all the proposers. There have been 30 so far and the current one that's going is establish a Mango V3 program upgrade council. So far it's got 100% approval. That's that's incredible. 100% approval. That means the community of Mango is very engaged. They do have some other um, uh, um, uh, voting systems that have already completed this one completed two hours ago and this is to create uh, new parameters for BTC perp liquidity um, provision and then there's a few other uh, things as well that are really interesting but this uh, it was very very intuitive let's take an example of this one we'll establish this one let's go ahead and approve this vote because I do want to establish a upgrade council I'm going to cast my vote here on the bottom right and you can see I have 1000 mango tokens I'm going to click approve do you want to make a comment on this I'm like um, Nope, no comment. I'm going to click approve and now I'm going to approve the transaction. Three, two, one, transaction confirmed. Amazing. How great is Solana? Okay, and now you can see here approved a thousand mango and my transaction has actually gone through. No problem. So I voted yes to this uh, DAO vote. That's incredible. How easy is that to make a DAO vote now? This is so much easier than Solana. Thank you, Mango, for leading the way in DAO votes. All right. We'll move on. All right, so Step Finance did recently tweet that they have now X Step. What is X Step? Step is uh, staking and uh, it's optimized loading of Sabre HQ farms. Um, they're going to add more Sabre farms and also uh, AMM TVL on dashboard. So, what does this actually mean? That means you can now stake your Step if you have Step and accrue Step rewards. Um, so, X Step gives you a staking APR of 15.13%. And it's really easy to do, guys. All you have to do is take your Step here. Go Go to the left hand side of their page step staking and you deposit how much step you want and it'll give you x step now remember this is the same as sushi they do say it themselves let's go ahead and find it here um, this is another major milestone for step the mechanics of x step will be posted momentarily tldr it's the same as x sushi and they did reply uh, tweet before that they use the same kind of code that sushi implements for x sushi and i don't think there's been any hacks for x sushi at the moment so this is incredibly bullish for step people have forgotten about step but they do provide a service to solana at the moment yeah i like it i like it guys good job our last topic for today is actually Magic Eden and Radium. They just announced a partnership. Uh, here we go. And they provided a medium as to uh, the explanation of their partnership. What does it actually say? What is what is that? What can we actually extract from this? So the partnership with Magic Eden. Radium users will be able to trade NFTs natively on Radium website. How this works is they're going to use Magic Eden as the back end. You can trade NFTs back and forth, no problems. Um, uh, all projects who list NFTs will be dual listed on Radium and Magic Eden. This is really going to double the liquidity and engagement. So if you have exposure to Radium, other people will be able to see your NFTs. If you have this NFT community, they'll be able to have exposure to Radium community as well, which is uh, incredibly really good about growing the Solana ecosystem. Uh, Magic Eden will actually integrate Radium swaps, allowing any token to be used as payment for nfts on the platform any token to be used as payment for the platform so for payment for nfts that's crazy if you have a shit coin that you want to um, get sell right away instead of selling it to usdt why don't you sell it into an nft you've been really wanting to buy that's incredible and then also the radium drop zone projects get priority verification on magic eden this again drives value to radium and the drop zone at magic e at uh, at uh, radium so if if think about it if you are a nft community and you want to have um reach a lot of audiences really quickly then you're going to be listing on magic eden then you might as well go to the radium drop zone this really brings a lot of community a lot of people to the radium which is a really great uh, implementation in, in my mind um, and going ahead to magic eden their website does have a few outages every so often they do have some featured collections at the moment and one thing for you to know zulana will have a zero minting cost for their initial upcoming mint it's really crazy we haven't seen a zero mint as well so expect this to be gone in absolutely zero time zero minutes maybe one second if you're lucky but they are a, a fictional world nft collection and blockchain based asset strategy game you can go ahead to check out our barn dog and he does a good cover of zulana i'm going to link it down below for you guys and last but not least i want to let you guys know to check out the solana daily because they have a lot of alpha the same as we provide here all right so to finish things off what's happening in the nft world there hasn't been much um, actually happening solana monkey business 
still leading the way. Uh, total value locked is it is 800 mil at the moment. There has been some drama with some of the NFTs at the moment. And if you own any, any NFTs that are revenue sharing, then you might want to think again, because one NFT will be listing a lot of NFTs in um, FTX, sorry, will be listing a lot of NFTs in Solana. And one such um, item that was about to be listed was Solarians. Everyone loves Solarians, but hey, listen to this. After extensive internal discussions with the FTX team, we do not see a feasible way to proceed with fee sharing for Solanians while remaining compliant to all regulations. That's incredible. So any any uh, FTX, any NFT that wants to be lifted on NF FTX will not be able to be listed if they have a fee sharing revenue model in the si inside of the NFTs. So that being said, I'm going to talk to you talk to you about something else that Soul Big Brain did cover. Soul Big Brain retweeted a tweet from a guy called Emil. So this is uh, a test run for him. He's a bot runner. He uses bots to mint all the NFTs on Solana and sells them right back to the market. This is what he said. I made 150 Solana with 10 Sol only from a Solana Bananas in one hour. So he was able to game the system, uh, especially on Magic Eden and other NFT platforms to use his bot to buy all of these right away and sell them to the market to anyone that wants to purchase these. This is uh, a problem that Soul Big Brain is really discussing on Twitter. It's incredible. You can't participate in the NFTs in Solana ecosystem anymore. It's getting too saturated with bots and there's no way you can actually compete. We need to have a way to stop all of these bots from running and we need like a uh, cyber resistance we, we don't know how we don't know how yet the first protocol the first platform to actually implement some kind of cyber, cyber resistance then they're going to be really popular in, in Solana all right that's it for now thanks for watching